Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, if you are new here, my name is Ash and I'm just your basic random stranger on the internet who loves anime, music, shopping, manga, and did I mention shopping to an unhealthy extent? So, I, I didn't live up to my 2022 goals, guys. I really wanted to upload on this channel more and I really wasn't consistent. I don't think I'll be consistent in 2023 either, but I do like to film these videos and put zero effort into it because I'm not even going to edit this video. I don't even know if I'm going to make a thumbnail. But 2022 was very busy for me, especially towards the end of the year. I did actually end up moving cross country back to where I was originally from in Georgia. Well, not where I was originally from. I actually live about across, halfway across the state from where I originally grew up. But I did relocate for work. I look like a hot mess and I don't really care, but I've been here for about four months now and I still haven't fully unpacked. Uh, it's a bigger space with less storage, so I'm struggling to display all my anime and manga and anime merch and shit like that. So, hold on. Okay, my hair, my hair is gonna have to go up. Actually, my hair's not gonna have to go up because this is not an actual hair bow, but we'll make do. Uh, my hair is going through it. I don't have a hair salon near me that I actually like, so I'm letting the blue fade into brown. And yeah, okay, that's everything I have to go through, just like update wise. Sorry, let me quit fucking with my hair. So with this video, I would at least like to make end of year, beginning of year videos to go over my collections, to maybe look over what I have brought in in the past year. So A, I can just have my whole collection somewhere documented and I don't have to physically write it down because I'm lazy. And B, it's kind of to start holding myself accountable because I do let my spending get out of control when I feel like my life is spiraling out of control and I feel like I have no control. So I overspend and don't you love it. So I really would like to hold myself accountable for that. So we are in a terrible filming spot. I'm literally sitting on the floor in front of my bedroom door. You can see all of my shoes. Well, not all of my shoes, but a good portion of my shoes. So yeah, um, before we do a welcome back to this channel video, maybe I'll do that, maybe I won't, who knows, because I don't even plan to edit this. I have one decent sized tote full of manga I need to show you guys so I can display it or box it underneath my bed or box it up into my closet. And then I also have another big, huge box, cardboard box that still hasn't been unpacked of manga that I do need to show you guys. And like just get it documented so I can stash it away and hold myself accountable to actually read it or not keep it in my collection if after I read it I don't like it. And then I have another box in the living room <laughs> that I need to show you guys because yeah space is limited here and I can't seem to quell my spending. So let's just go through this. So this is pretty much um, some books and some manga that I have picked up since April of 2022. I do have some books in here. I'll show you some of the books I got. Maybe I'll show you more than just these books, but if I can find them, because I have been trying to get back to reading as of late. And um, I will say the one bad thing about where I live now is they don't have a good library system and the online library that they offer isn't the best. So I will be buying books if I like them and just struggling to put them somewhere. So the first three books I have here are actually a kid's picture book, but I read them in KC Mo. I really like them. And there was a third book that came out, but the library system here didn't have it. So I just said, you know what, I'll buy all three of them. Some of these are kind of rough, but I got them for under $5. So I have the Tea, Fest the tea Dragon Festival super cute children's book and then I think the tea dragon society is the second one in the series and then the tea dragon tapestry is the third one in this picture book series 
I really do like it. It's a cute, wholesome story. It has an LGBTQ plus rep in it, and I am always looking for a way to put more LGBTQ, LG, oh my gosh, LGBTQ plus rep into my collection. And who knows? Maybe I'll give them away someday. Maybe I won't, but I do enjoy these stories, so I'm glad to have them in my collection. And then these are going to be very out of order because I just threw them into this tote because I needed them out of my living room at the time. And everything in this tote has been items I have collected since I've moved back to Georgia. So the first item I have here is the Tokyo Avengers Omnibus Edition in English, and this is volumes 3 and 4. And then I have a Junji Ito to add into my collection. I have read this. This is Black Paradox. I love Junji Ito, so I will constantly collect his work. And then um, I have this manga called Boys of the Dead, which is a zombie BL. Uh, I am constantly looking to add more BL and Yuri into my collection. <laughs> or actually just any kind of LGBTQ plus rep into my collection. And then the next one I picked up is Be Very Afraid of Kanako and Nuki, which is a, a horror manga cost. Sorry, this is a, they're like a staple in the horror genre, so I'm very interested in reading this one. And then finally, I picked up The Summer You Were There, which is a Yuri romance. I have not read this one. So out of the first five books I've or manga that I picked up, I've only read one. And then let's see. I have shown some of these on camera, so I'll just speed through the ones that I have. Next, I have Blood on the Tracks Volume 11 uh, by uh, Shuzo Oshimi. I did not say who the other stuff was by, but. I really enjoyed the series. I think I'm like five volumes behind. I need to get back to reading it. And then I have um, volume four of CSI Stranger by Kikana. Um, this is a very aesthetically pleasing cover and these have been cover buys. It is some kind of yaoi romance and I have the first four volumes. I have not read them and I'm still tempted to buy them. Come on, come back and focus. There you go. Sorry if I was out of focus. And then I next one I have is Blood on the Tracks Volume 10 from Shuzo Oshimi. I have not read this volume. I do need to dive back into this series. And then I picked up Until I Met My Husband, the manga. This is a true story by Ryusuke Nanasaki and the art is by Yoshi Tsukezuki. Su Su oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I have read this. This is very nice. It is a memoir about a gay man and his rights to get married and yeah I really like this. And then I have shown this on my channel. It is Onward Towards Our Noble Death by Shigeru Mizuki. I have not read this one. That was a Christmas present for my brother last year. And so out of <laughs> out of this stack of five I have only read one. I'm on a roll. I will say my manga reading has slowed down quite a bit. I need to get back into it, but I've just been struggling. When am I not struggling? Anyways, the next manga that I picked up is Blood on the Tracks Volume 9 by Shizo Oshimi. I have not read this. And then I picked up Jose and the Tiger and the Fish by Seiko Tanabe, and the art is by now Moto. I own the movie, I own the light novel, so I picked up the manga because Eve done two of the songs and I'm a big Eve fan, so I just wanted to have it in my collection. And then finally, I picked up Anti-Romance Volume 1. This is a slow burn friends to lovers. I have read this and I am very interested in picking up Volume 2 whenever it comes out. And then the next item on my <laughs> list is A Man and His Cat Volume 7. I have not read this volume, but I do love this series. It's very cute, very wholesome. And then I picked up the Collector's Edition, a Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. 
I have not read this edition, but I do have the paperback and I have read it and I do enjoy these stories. And then finally, I picked up Nights with the Cat Volume 2. I have read this. This is just a wholesome story about a guy living with his sister and his cat and the nights they go through. Super cute, super wholesome. I adore it. And then next I picked up Drip Drip by Paru Itagaki, who is the mangaka of Beastars. I have read this, but I read this online. I do enjoy this story. It is about a girl who can't have sex, but her nose bleeds a lot. <laughs> it's like all I picked up from the story when I read it. I do need to read it again. And then finally, I picked up No Longer Human, the complete edition by Uzumaru Fur Furuya. And the original story is, of course, by Asuma Dazai. I really, really love No Longer Human. It's one of my favorite stories. Um, I used to get this every year from the library, but they put it in an omnibus, uh, a omnibus collection and I did not hesitate to pick it up. So I have theoretically read this, but I have not opened this volume. So I guess out of this stack, I think this one I'm doing pretty decent with. I've read two out of four so we're getting there and then the next items I picked up um is volume four of Sensei's Pious Lie by Akane Torrika and I believe this is the wife of Asano Asano Neo who does Oyasumi Pum Pum I really like these the story this volume four is the last volume I have not read it yet but I am looking forward to finishing out this series then I picked up volume two of Sensei's Pious Lie I have read this I do really like this story it is a hard-hitting story that has to deal with sexual assault both from a woman's point of view and a man's point of view and there's also a looks like an age gap romance between the teacher and her student. I do like this. I have been very much into hard-hitting manga lately. Like, I have been kind of out of my shonen phase. I still do have my staples shonen series, but either, like, really light, <laughs> easy-going stuff or very hard-hitting that makes me question my life type things. And then the next volume I picked up is Sensei's Pious Lie, Volume 3. I have read this and I did enjoy it. Um, the next thing I picked up is Monotone Blue by Nagabe. Uh, this is a gallery ro romance about uh, anamorph anamorphic animals, I think that's the word. Anyways, it's about a lizard and a cat. It's cute. Nagabe is kind of a weird mangaka, but I still find myself constantly going back to his yaoi romances and the back of it literally says animal boys in love i don't know what that says about me i don't want to dive into that um the next item i picked up is a manga called rabbit game by miyoshi i have not read this but it looks like um it's by maybe a smaller manga ka and it's short the cover is pretty and i just really like the synopsis I guess we have some time. I am flying through this. High school sophomore Kiritani Toru is perplexed by, by Inaba, his classmate of two years. Have you ever eaten a dead rabbit? Her sentence filled with hidden meanings and her behavior playful and childlike. Their mutual friend Kawamoto claims her words are meaningless. One day Kiritana receives a certain game from Inaba. Since that day, he's been haunted by strange dreams. Are they real or fake? Dream or reality? Or perhaps they're simply memories of the past. So, it sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to diving into this one day whenever I eventually pick it up. The art is kind of rough, but that's okay. And then finally, I picked up volume 32 of My Hero Academia in English. My Hero Academia is one of my staple series. Even though I have fallen out of, I don't want to say I've fallen out of love with it. I haven't been keeping up with it, but I still do buy, buy the volumes because I would at least like to round out my collection, even if I haven't read it in a while.
and I think that stack was pretty good. I've read like four out of five or six volumes there. And then the next item I picked up is Thus Spoke Rohan. Oh my gosh, Thus Spoke Rohan Kishbe by Hiro Hiro. I'm struggling by Araki Sensei. This is the spinoff manga with Rohan Kishbe. Rohan Kishbe is my favorite character in all of JoJo's. He is such an asshole. I love the asshole characters. I have read this online. I'm just glad to have a physical edition in my collection. And I do have this actually in Japanese. But I'm glad it's been translated to English. I just love Rohan. So I actively go out of my way to collect anything that is centered around Rohan. The next item I picked up is a light manga by Yoru Sumino. And this is called I Will Forget This Feeling Someday. Um, Yoru Sumino has become like an instant buy live novelist. I do enjoy most of their, if not all of their works. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I haven't read this. Um, I don't really know what it's about, so let's dive in. A bond in a love that stretches across time and parallel dimensions. Suzuki Kaya lives an everyday, ordinary, boring life. That is, until a dazzling light appears before him at a defunct bus stop, showing him a vision of a girl from another world. From that moment, Kaya's life changes as they strive to find ways to meet one another from across dimensions and maybe even fall in love. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be some kind of romance. We'll see. Their romances kind of make me cry, so I'm down for that shit. The next thing I picked up is a book called Mermaid Town, and this is a collection, collection of Tomohira Sugawa. It looks like another, like, not big manga ka. I just really like the way this looks, and, like, it's a manga with sprayed edges. The art style is, um, unique. Like, nobody has faces in this art style. I haven't read it. I don't know what it's about other than it's a short story collection, and I do enjoy short stories, so... Excited to read that one day. And then the next item I picked up are Cats and Sugar Bowls, which um, is by Yukiko. I have read this. This is a anthology of Yori short stories. This is okay. Um, some of the stories are really cute. Some of them are kind of like, eh. I seem to have that a lot whenever it comes to Yuri anthologies, but I still buy them anyways because I am constantly looking for some Yuri rep. Because I love having LGBTQ plus items in my collection, and honestly, LGBTQ plus romances are the only romances I can stomach at the moment. Next, I picked up um, Last Gender When We Are Nameless, and this is volume one by Ray Teki. This has to deal with a bar in Japan that takes all walks of life. You have polyamory. No, I'm sorry. You don't have polyamory. You have pansexuality or representation, which is really huge on my front. You have um, aromantic, which is very huge on my front. You have some transgender rap, some lesbian rap. rap. It's about a bar called Hotel California, not Hotel California, Bar California. And it's just a bar where you can reveal your true self. Overall, it's a decent read. It's rated 18 plus or, or some sex scenes and other scenes of the sort in here. I do recommend this if you are looking for more rep in your manga collection. And I'm excited to get to volume two when it eventually comes out. Overall, it's not one of my favorites, but it's something I will be keeping around and finishing out. And then the next item I picked up I really loved, and I cannot wait to continue this series. And it's called She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat. It is a wholesome, fluffy, somewhat slow burn uh, Yuri romance about an office woman who loves to cook for her neighbor because her neighbor has a big appetite. And it seems that they are bonding and falling in love through the love of food and just caring for each other. It's super cute and I really do recommend this. It's such a fun read and I can't wait for volume two. 
I have shown this on my channel before. I have not read it yet, but this is I Am a Cat by the manga edition by Soseki Natsu Natsume. I have this on audiobook. I'm very, I really want to read the manga because I do want to read the novel eventually, but the novel is like 900 plus pages and the audio audiobook is 24 plus hours and that's very intimidating. One day I will tackle the manga at least. And then next I picked up Cat and Gamer from um, This Is Volume 2 by Wataru Nadatani. Super cute. I enjoyed this. I love me a wholesome cat story because I can't afford to have pets of my own and I love cats. And every cat story I have read so far has been wholesome and fluffy and I can't wait to continue the series. Um, it's essentially about a parkour gamer. She lives on her own. She works very hard throughout the week and then she games in her free time and she adopts a kitten and they get into all kind of mischief together. Super cute. Love it. And then finally, I don't know if I've shown these on my channel before, but if not, here they are. It's volumes one, two, and three of The Golden Sheep by Ozaki Kaori. The art in this is beautiful. Um, the first volume was great. Second volume was good. Third volume was good. Overall, I had my eye on this series for a very long time and I finally picked it up. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I read it. It was decent. I gave it four stars. I don't really have much to say other than that, but I have read it. <laughs> so, I don't think I would sell this series just yet. Maybe in the future, whenever space really becomes limited, but I'm going to keep it around for now. Alrighty, you guys. That is... Part one, I do have some more to go through, but that's all I'm going to film today and put up on my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. It's very rough around the edges because honestly, I don't give a shit to edit it. But if you stuck around to the end, thank you so much and I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.